as we know the incidence of infertility in our country and worldwide is around 15 to 20 percent and it is important the couple should approach the doctor in proper time if they have stayed together for one year without any protection if they have not conceived they should come and solicit the help of the gynecologist and the first thing a gynecologist should find out the what is the common etiology the cause for the infertility and for that we take a detailed history do needed pelvic examination and do certain very important hormonal test like thyroid prolactin and other related hormone test and commonly we do pelvic ultrasonography by that we try to find out if at all any common problems like fibroid the tumor or endometriosis some ovarian cyst or any swelling in the tube or any kind of common diseases which see, we see in the pelvis if we find some problems then we explain the necessity of doing some invasive tests that is we do x ray of the uterus sometime we do laparoscopy hysteroscopy test we put a keyhole telescope inside the abdomen and the uterus to find out the real problems inside and if there is certain problems then we correct with that endoscopic procedures i remove the fibroid if it's there in the uterine cavity if there is some cyst or endometriosis or some adhesions in the tube or around pelvic structures then we try to correct it so which will improve her fertility potentiality sometimes with all we do we also at the same time see the husband's semen examination which is very important nowadays the male factor problems are nearly 40 to 50 percent first we do the semen analysis if the count and motility and morphology everything is normal then we give another few months or maybe year or two if the age is less than 35 then explain the them their reproductive physiology and try to allow them for expected management but if we find some problem with the male side then we explain the couple how to do intrauterine inseminations in intrauterine insemination we take the sperm collected by masturbation by husband then we process the sperm we try to take out the reactive oxygen species and some other problems which is there in the semen and make the sperm more cleaner and free of antibodies and toxins then we try to improve the best quality sperms out of it by different centrifugation and sperm preparations and we give some medication to the wife either injection form or tablets form or both to bring the best quality egg once the egg is mature then we try to inseminate the prepared sperms in the proximity of the egg by a special catheter which we put in a sterile 
environment inside the uterus and most of the time if it is a simple problems then around 15 to 20 percent of people they conceive with two or three cycles of IUI but sometimes the things are not easy sometimes there can be irreparable damage in the tube there can be damage surrounding structure of the tube so the transfer of egg to the uterus is not that easy in those cases when they try for a long time they don't conceive then we explain them to go for the process of in vitro fertilization in in vitro fertilizations we see the age of the people couple and we try to develop instead of one or two eggs we stimulate the egg ovary to bring up more eggs with that we do in vitro fertilization there are many ways of doing it as i told you the age is a very important factor how long they have tried before that is also and their ovary reserve and we take the help of some hormonal test like fsh amh prolactin thyroid and other things then we decide what protocol will suit there are two types antagonist and agonist protocol we choose and with that we stimulate we bring up more eggs and once the egg is mature then we try to give some special injection to make it more mature and good quality egg and try to pick up the egg out of the body by oocyte retrieval and once the egg we retrieved that time we prepare the sperm if the sperm's quality and quantity is good then we do conventional in vitro fertilizations but if the sperm is too low the count then we go for higher technique in such cases we do intra cytoplasmic sperm injections when the count is very low then we fertilize the egg then once the egg is 3 days or sometimes if the more eggs are there we take it to 5 days like blastocyst stage then we either transfer the egg in the same cycle that is we tell the fresh cycle suppose there is some other problems if associated with the things then like polycystic ovarian disease or the cycles the endometrium is not properly developed or she has got incidentally some other problems then we defer the transfer of the embryo in that same cycle then we preserve by doing cryopreservation by doing vitrifications the special procedure where we freeze the egg and when the endometrium and the other conditions are favorable that time we choose after 2 months or 3 months we transfer the embryo in the uterus either on the day 3 or day 5 so with all these things there are some other problems sometimes crops in then either we transfer the patients either don't conceive or if they conceive after few months they miscarriage so there are certain things we take into considerations there further genetic studies we do and we take the help of other special type of technique like intracytoplasmic sperm injection xc and the other high version of xc is the mc so that is the morphologically we select the sperm the best sperm and try to fertilize it 
and once we decide for XC or MC, we take the X out and prepare it for a while with different media and try to inject in each oocyte one good sperm and then we fertilize it. Then we leave it for three days or five days according to the need and then we once we find that embryo is good sometimes we monitor this embryo through the embryoscope we select the embryos the best embryos viable embryos then we decide either we will transfer the embryo on the day three or day five in take it to the blastogenesis stage. Sometimes you find some problems or with the history of previous failure, IV failure, we select few cases for embryo hatching. So that embryo hatching, sometimes we take the help of the laser, we do the hatching process. process. And once we get good number of embryos, sometimes we decide that either we transfer the embryo in the same cycle, that is we care to call it the fresh cycle transfer, or we cryopreserve it, we put it in different cycles. And the once we take this thing for transfer, that we keep the patients, do the ultrasound and take it transfer catheter, we load the embryo and different either day 3 or day 5, then we clean the vagina and position the uterus and put a catheter under ultrasound guidance and transfer it. And we ask the patient to take a little rest and then we monitor subsequent days the implantation process. And the implantation is very, very tricky. In few cases, before doing implantation, we do ERA test to know the genomic configuration of the endometrial receptivity. So that sometimes guides us which embryo and which stage the embryo will implant and what will be the success rate. So accordingly, we decide in the same cycle we transfer or not. Then once the embryo is left and we monitor through the hormonal study, see after 10-15 days we do the beta ICG and subsequently with 4-5 days again we repeat, we see the titer increasing, we see the biochemical pregnancy is coming on. And once there is a pregnancy, then we give some support once we transfer we give sometimes the luteal support and this luteal support we give progesterone in the form of either cream or injections and sometimes we give other supporting medicines like aspirin and estrogens and sometimes some GSF that is called granulocyte colony counters. So with that we monitor, we see the embryo growing, then we take these patients and we discuss with them how to come for further checkup. The very important in this regard is the Procedures, the patients should be, both the couples should be counseled to minimize the stress, live in a very, there's nothing unusual for uh, as in other pregnancies. Only thing is there should be anxiety free, fearless and should follow the usual instructions which has been provided by the hospital. Very important is this that one should not 
get this certain very fast this is a procedure there are a lot of successes and failures and one should try if they fail in one cycle twice or thrice if things are looking good if the doctor feels that there is a fair chance of success and most of the time they achieve the pregnancy and a successful childbirth occurs and when we transfer the embryos when we collect more embryos then either one or two embryo you transfer because if the age is younger then better we select one embryo to be transferred in the either fresh cycle or freezing cycle if age is more if there is previous failures then we ask the couple if they prefer to transfer two embryos but nowadays we don't usually do three embryo transfer so with new technology which is coming up now cumulative means successive time with one embryo collections we can do two or three times transfer by cryopreserving so the success rate which is usually in in vitro fertilization is 20 to 30 percent per transfer now we can take it to nearly 50 to 60 percent even few centers they go up to 70 80 percent so a every patient should understand the whole scientific progress now available before them they should clearly discuss all options then they should decide what is appropriate for them and the doctor should see that patients get the best benefit from the service available with minimum cost with minimum hassles and without any psychological or social stigma persisting for a long time